Hi, my name is Vince Doherty. I'm the service manager at Discount Inboard Marine, and we're going to cover some basic winterization tips on uh, a marine engine. This engine is a Pleasure Craft Marine 5.8 Ford engine. They use this engine probably from the early 70s all the way through the year 2000 with the GT40, and the winterization process is going to be about the same except you can fog this carbureted engine through the carburetor. If it's a multi-port fuel injected engine it's recommended that you fog through each individual cylinder. The very first thing you want to do is take some gas stabilizer and put it in the gas tank and then once it's in the tank you want to start the engine, run it, warm the engine up and then change the engine oil. And some of the newer GM engines, you'll have a remote oil filter. It's right up on top of the engine. It's very easy to find and easy to change. On this particular engine, it's going to be in the usual place, which is right here by the fuel pump. And uh, you also have an oil drain hose, which comes off of the oil pan and goes through the hole on a direct drive. And you can also hook this up to a suction pump if it's a V drive uh, or you may have to extend the hose to reach the uh, drain in the back of the V drive boat. Once the engine has been warmed, fluid has been changed, then you need to drain the engine of the fluids. On a TCM Ford engine you've got a drain and a metal elbow right here. Uh, this one has a valve on it, so all you have to do is turn the valve and see the water drain. And then there are two engine drain plugs. And one plug is towards the front of the engine. And you just remove that plug. It's a 9 16 inch wrench. And then there's one on this side of the engine also. This one is towards the rear of the engine. And you just pull that drain plug, let it drain out. We also have two exhaust manifold plugs. And usually all you need is a half inch drive ratchet. These are located on the back of the exhaust manifolds. Also want to drain those. You can see there's quite a bit of sludge and stuff that comes out of these manifolds. I like to kind of dig in there a little bit with my finger, clean that sludge out. So you get good drainage. Then you do the same thing on the other side. Now this is an interesting thing that can happen on exhaust manifolds and it can happen on engine blocks. There's so much sludge in here it's actually blocking the hole so you have to break through that sludge and make sure water comes out of all the drains. It's real easy to unscrew that as you saw no water came out but a lot of sludge was in there all I did was poke it with my finger and it drained out. Once all the fluids are drained out, I'll go ahead and put the plugs back in. Okay, we've replaced all the drain plugs in the engine block and the exhaust manifolds. Uh, we've got some ethyl alcohol with glycol denaturants. It's a uh, RV antifreeze. And what I like to do is we've got it in the bucket here, ran a hose from our raw water intake down into the bucket and this hose usually goes back to the rear of the engine and where the transmission cooler is so you can take it off at the cooler and uh, put it in the bucket from there and once we're to this point we've changed the oil we use 15 W40 engine oil you'll find it in the diesel section of your uh, uh, automotive store Check with your local dealer. The newer engines use some different fluids. 
transmission fluids is always Dexron 3 or equivalent and the uh, PCMV drives use a special 50 weight oil so you want to check with your dealer or your owner's manual make sure you've got the right fluids uh, especially on the newer engines it's very important to make sure you've got the right fluids and the correct antifreeze if you have closed cooling so once we do that now we're ready to start the engine suck the antifreeze in through everything we've drained out and at the same time we're going to fog the engine through the carburetor so we'll go ahead and do that we recommend that you change your impeller and your fuel filter in the spring so that you have fresh gas and fresh water supply and have a trouble free season thank you okay now we're gonna uh, fog the engine with engine store and you can fog an engine right through the carburetor that will coat the cylinders with some fogging oil and keep it from uh, getting corrosion through the layup period we're also going to induce the antifreeze and this is the suction side of the raw water pump that's where your impeller is and we're going to change that impeller but we're going to do it in the spring and some guys will pull the impeller and some guys just leave it in personally I leave it in and change it in the spring so we're going to start the engine we've got it set up where it'll suck the antifreeze through the engine block and we'll fog at the same time You can see the water is out of the bucket or the antifreeze. The engine is fogged, so this is ready to be put away for the winter. If you have any questions, give us a call, 803-345-0996, and I'm extension 3. We recommend that you change your impeller and your fuel filter in the spring so that you have fresh gas and fresh water supply and have a trouble-free season. Thank you.